me out. He always came with his friend Kit Kat. I only once just found out at his funeral that uh, Kit Kat was actually the one who was sending him, sending me the messages that Genius was talking yes, about. I, I didn't know that. that. All the time I thought I was talking to Genius, but he was sending his best friend to text because he was, um, you know, his English was not that good and. Being a, a Debele girl and he was Shona, we couldn't really communicate in that in the native language. So hence his friend had to do that. I mean, imagine all the years the friend was communicating with me, yet I thought I was communicating with him. So I was literally in a relationship with both of them. But anyway, we then started dating, I think 2009. And um, look, the age, he always said to me, age is nothing but a number. And... I think the first two years were a challenge, but I ended up accepting it that, look, he's younger than me, that is what he wants, that is what I wanted, and we started dating, we had a very good relationship. I think the basis of our relationship was friendship, because we're more of friends more than anything else. Everything else was added on, but we're closer and tighter as friends than, um, than the actual relationship. Which is why even when we went our separate ways in 2018, we still remain very close friends and people never understood why we're still friends. Some others are saying they broke up, others say they didn't break up, others are saying we're together. We, we remain friends till the last day. Okay, so Zotwa, when that phone call came on Sunday, uh, early Sunday of the 8th of November 2020, I know it's difficult to ask this, but how did you feel? You know what, when the phone call came, I didn't believe. I actually, I was called by Remo, I think, as he got to the accident scene. He called, said, Sodwa, Genius has been involved in a car accident. And I said, what? Normally when I sleep, I put my phone on silent. But that particular night, for one reason or the other, I, my phone was not on silent. He had called me around 1 a.m. in the morning because... Um, you know, Genius, when he went to the club, he would call at any time because he wanted everyone to club with him. But I was not one of those girls that loved clubbing. And also, you know, I, I'm, I, I've outgrown that life. You know, so I, I wouldn't go clubbing. He would call, come, let's do this, he would phone. So he phoned me at one in the morning that particular Sunday. And he was just asking stupid question, Genius being Genius. And then when Remo called me, I couldn't believe it. He says, Genius has had an accident and he just started crying. And I said, is Genius okay? He said, no, Genius is dead. Where are you? I'm on Borodale Road. He didn't, couldn't tell me which part of Borodale Road. I, I, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. I just jumped out of bed, went out of my room. I told my kids. My eldest daughter just started throwing up. The younger one started vomiting as well. I didn't know what was going on. I went downstairs wearing my pyjamas, got into the car, I realized I was wearing pyjamas, I went back up, I changed. I tried to drive, I couldn't drive. I had to ask my driver, fortunately my driver was at home, like, look, can you drive me? Genius has just had a car accident. I told everyone else, his aunt was at my house that weekend, and, um, and one of his br younger brother's wives was also at my house that same, that, same, that same day. So I just told them, and then I just drove off. I went to the accident scene. When I got there, I couldn't believe. I thought maybe he was going to wake up. I got there, I tried to go to his, to, to his body. He was lifeless. They'd covered him with leaves. It was, it, it was, you know, I, I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish that on, any, on anybody. He, he, the, the, the other people that died with him, it was painful to hear the screams and people. I, I got there literally, I think less than about 10, 15 minutes after the accident had happened. It was painful. It still is painful. It's really difficult for us all. The family is very difficult. Genius was very close to me. We we're quite close to each other. People, like they say, they would never understand the relationship I had with Genius. No one can ever understand that. Up to the day of his death, the previous weekend before he died, I went for a function um, in his area. And then after the function, I decided, oh, let me go and see Genius. I've not seen him in a while. I think I've not seen him in a week or so. I went there on a Saturday. I go to his house. Usually, I, I would never just go to his house. Just like we just not come to mind. We would phone each other. Are you okay? Are you free? Can I come through? I would go and visit him. So that Saturday, I just went to visit him. He was shocked to see me by his gate. I said, no, it's okay. I've just come to see you. Check if you're okay. It's been a while. I got there. I think it was around three, four in the afternoon. 
I spent literally the whole afternoon uh, into, into the night around 11, 12. Then I came back home. He was now going to the club. That's actually the last time I saw Genius. It was, it's like I went there to say goodbye. I have no regrets. At least I, I, I got to spend.